a lot of mainstream uh, quantum physicists these days uh, discount the importance of consciousness or the observer in trying to understand what's happening at the fundamental levels of reality. Consciousness is like the white elephant in the room. So for science to become relevant beyond today, it will have to evolve. Can science really break out of its uh, somewhat naive uh, past? And I can say that as a scientist uh, quite boldly. And really take the human spirit where the human spirit uh, ought to go and where it needs to go in order for the survival of the species. I'm talking about survival of human species. As we move into the future, we'll stop calling it Western or Eastern. I mean, gravity is not Western or Eastern, it's gravity and it's part of science. So as science evolves, it'll expand. Basically, maybe perhaps what is an arrogant point of view, that somehow the knowledge and our experience of the 20th century is the only relevant thing, and all these ancient cultures, all these ancient wisdoms are irrelevant. That sense of superiority may be the downfall of humanity. I'm very concerned about that. If there is one thing I want to get out of my collaboration with Menas Kafatos, it is a deeper understanding for the world of consciousness as related to some of the deeper understanding of quantum physics. That in fact the universe is self-aware and self-driven. And mathematically Describable. Uh, describable. And mathematically describable. Would you say God is a mathematician? As a mathematical physicist, I would like to believe that.